The Rums of Barbados Master Mixer is brought to you by Barbados Industrial Development Corporation, the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, the Caribbean Cooking Channel.com, Clayton's Cola Tonic and Doolin's Fruit Juice, Carrot Poss, Island Ice, the best ice, Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, Liat Airlines, the Indoorware Travel Center, and Barbados Today.bb. Welcome back to another episode of the Rums of Barbados Master Mixer. This week we have the defending champion Rohan Hackshaw representing Sandy Lane Hotel and Cardinal Fields representing Chin Chin by the Sea. Let's go meet them. Hi mate, my name is Rohan Hackshaw and I work at Sandy Lane Hotel. Well, I've been making cocktails for my boy because realistically Lemonade is a cocktail, so if you're making lemonade at home, it's basically a cocktail. But at a professional aspect, I've been making cocktails for about six years. Uh, my name is Cardinal Fields, and I work at Ching Ching by the Sea. I've been making cocktails for yeah, like seven years now. Thanks for that, guys. We're going to pay some bills, and we're going to come right back. Stay tuned. The cocktails in this segment are brought to you by the Rums of Barbados, produced by Mount Gay, St. Nicholas Abbey, Foursquare Rum Factory, and West Indies Rum Distilleries Limited. Each contestant will have a total of five minutes to complete their cocktails. Our tenders will be judged and awarded five points for name and originality, 20 points for visual appeal and presentation, 15 points for taste, 15 points for balance of ingredients, 15 points for creativity, 10 points for skill and technique, 15 points for use of Caribbean flavors, and five points for ease of preparation. Each judge will submit their score and then the average of the total points will be awarded to each bartender. Let the battle, battle begin. Battle begin. First up, we have Rohan creating his rum cocktail. Well, the, the name of my first drink was called Yellow Twist. It was basically a, a twist off of a rum sour. Um, I used fresh hot plum juice, fresh lemon juice, some syrup, some bitters, and fresh bell pepper. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, judges. Well, today, uh, allow me to tingle with your palates a little bit. Have some fresh yellow bell pepper, high vitamin C, vitamin E, Lots of antioxidants. Some simple syrup to bring the cocktail together. And some fresh lemon juice. Citrus acid. Everyone needs it. Okay. We're gonna muddle it and create a, a simple syrup, a sweet pepper syrup. And we'll put it there to set. To, all the flavors marry together. I'm gonna do my garnish. I'm gonna make for you a, a gingerbread boy made out of four minutes. yellow bell pepper. Hello? I'll come repeat the drink. We have some hog plum juice. Now, hog, hog plum is a fruit that you pass on the street every day. You smell it before you see it. It's really good for you. It's full of fiber, full of iron, full of calcium, and low in calories. So anyone's on a diet, feel free to have a couple of these every morning. They feel really revived. <coughs> Some bitters. Eight dashes of bitters. And premium gold rum. Yes, it does. 
I, I thought it was going to mingle with the pallets a little bit. I really hope it's clean. This is some nuts. Okay. All is nuts. <laughs> We're going to give it a shake. You don't want to shake it too much or add too much ice because you don't want to dilute the flavor. Just to get nice and chill, don't want to dilute it. Smell the aroma. Now for my ice, I have a Japanese ice ball with some a Japanese ice ball. The reason for the ice ball because it's, it's not going to melt as fast as the regular ice, so the flavors will stay there longer and linger on your palate. I have some orange zest in the middle just for garnish and decoration. Now I'm gonna double strain. No any excess bell peppers, get away. Now for the garnish, we slip on the gingerbread ball. Four, three, Ladies and gentlemen, three. yellow twist. Let's take a look now at Cardinal Fields doing his rum cocktail. Uh, my first drink was the um, Caribbean V8 Splash, uh, which is a kind of a spin on a um, eco parts vegetable juice, eco parts fruit juice. Um, I had adding a little bit of Scotch bonnet pepper, um, a little lemongrass, simple syrup. Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Cardinal, and I'm going to be making for you a Caribbean V8 Splash. Now, first of all, I'm going to be using a nice rum. I'm going to use an ounce and a half. Actually, I'm going to use three ounces because I'm going to make both drinks at the same time. So I'm going to use three ounces. Then I'm going to use, this is cucumber juice, an ounce of cucumber juice, an ounce of red bell pepper juice, One ounce of peach puree. Also one ounce of mango puree. Then I'll be adding, all right, fresh pear puree. All right, and then a little bit of lime juice, half ounce ounce and a half of simple syrup. Also, we're adding an ounce of Clayton's. To that, I'll be also adding a little bit of Scotch bonnet pepper for a little kick. Gonna ice my glasses up. Ice my drink up as well. Ice my drink up. Now to this pan, I'm gonna have kind of preheated. I'm gonna add some rum as well. Some rum. I'm gonna add some, this is like pear and um, bell pepper and uh, mango and stuff like that. Some of that. Get my drink shaking. Get one more shake. Oh, 
that shape, I'm going to double strain into my glass. Double strain into my glass. Now, now to that, I have a canister here, and this canister I have a, a peach and Clayton's um, foam, which I'll be putting on top of my cocktail. Let me get warm. Peach and Clayton's foam. Oh, damn. Boy, things that happened to me, I had a foam machine or a cream meter, which um, it was kind of jammed on me. You know, and I had to use it the night before it worked well, and then when I went to use it for the competition, it didn't work at all. Unfortunately. Well, of course I'm going to have to carry on, because my phone machine doesn't seem to be working. So, I've got my veg here, my fruits and veg in my little thing, so I'm just going to Garnish, garnish my fruit and veg kebab up. Add a little fork. Can I find another fork? Just gonna add a piece of garnish on that, and then I have some. Um, oh, the Davian nectar, um, little lemon juice, right? Okay, All right. All right? Little Gavin nectar, lemon juice, actually, and some freshly chopped dill. All right, I just wanted to kind of pour this over my garnish as well. <sighs> okay. All right, so, yes. There you go, folks. My Caribbean VS Lash. benefit is obviously that we've taken the essence of the cola nut and put it in a liquid form inside a bottle. The cola nut gives you energy and stamina. I think the main benefit uh, from drinking Clayton's is that you've got the choice as to whether you make it into an alcoholic product or not. So um, on its own, it's a, it's a very satisfying full-bodied drink. You can mix it with soft drinks, you can mix it with alcohol, but that's your choice. Uh, it's also got a lot of natural qualities to it and it feels like you're actually having what we call a real drink. These non-alcoholic cocktails are brought to you by Clayton's Cola Tonic. I just hope I get to taste half of these cocktails tonight. Now let's take a look at Rohan's non-alcoholic beverage using Clayton's Cola Tonic. The, the name of the second drink was called Spice Tonic. It was called Spice Tonic because I use Cola Tonic and I use all spice, so you see Laying the name together, it was cola tonic, jamun juice, golden apple, orange marmalade, basil, and fresh ginger. Okay, and for my second drink, it's called spice tonic. First, we're gonna start the garnish. I made some cola tonic ravioli, which I blended. I blended the cola tonic with calcium lactate, bring it to a freeze. 
and then made a how's in it bath I leave it to set for a couple of minutes so I have some polo tart ravioli some jamun juice and basil leaf I'm going to start my drink. I have fresh basil, which have a nice sweet citrus flavor. Some ginger, which is really good for upset stomach. Some people say it's good for cancer. And some jamun juice. I'm using jamun juice today for the citrus. Don't of it. So jamun is a really good fruit. They said it's good for everything. And, and the Wileys love them. Yeah, all the, it's called plain. So we'll muddle the ginger, the basil, and the jamun together. There you go. Two tablespoons of orange marmalade. I'm using this for my sugar. Orange marmalade is sweet but has a bitter taste. I told you I'm going to play with palettes for a little bit. And some allspice. It's really good. Have nutmeg, clove, oh, wow. cinnamon. So it's a really good spice. I use it a lot because it's all in one. I use my spoon to dissolve the marmalade because I don't want to add ice to it. I don't want it crystallizing. After that set, I want to put add some CO2 to some cola tonic, add some gas, add this, make some fun. There you go. Loads of cola tonic. The more cola tonic, the better. Now, my, this drink is very interesting. Excuse the noise for a bit. It has jamun, which is the citrus, the allspice, because I use a tea, the jam, the marmalade, the jam. So go with the basil bread. It's like a breakfast drink. Of that set. Oh, the, the machine is, is a soda stream. It basically adds CO2 to any beverages. So it's basically, you, you can make a soda from scratch. So it just adds some CO2 into the cooler tonic to get it nice and fizzy to, to give the drink a nice bubbly texture in your mouth. Yeah, let's set for a bit. Add a golden apple juice. The golden apple is, is one of my favorite juices. It's also known as palm sauté and June plum in other Caribbean islands. Fine check. Shake. Again, don't want to shake too much. Don't want to dilute the drink. Some ice and double strain. I'm going to give it a little face to it. Get some ice. Stir it up. Gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. I must say, I, I have to get myself one of those. Hint, hint, yeah. Now, let's see what Cardinal's gonna bring to the table. 
The second drink was a Bonanza. It had in um, juice of the Aki. I think you put a little cilantro in it, like two drops of rice wine vinegar, topped with a not alcoholic sparkling wine, and create a score tonic. Uh, good evening, folks, once again. I'm going to be doing a non alcoholic cocktail for you this evening, which consists of Clayton's um, Aki juice. I have a little rice wine vinegar and a little cilantro. So, first, I'm going to get my cilantro, put it into my mixing glass, along with, along with three. Three ounces of my Aki juice. After this, I'm just going to add like a, just a quarter of an ounce of white wine vinegar. Give it that acidity. And then I'm going to add half of an ounce of creatinine to the bottom of, bottom of my cocktail glass. The glass. Now I'm going to add an ounce and a half of lemon flavored simple syrup. Alright, I'm going to ice that though, shake it up. Now, ready? And then to that, I'm gonna to top it with a nice non-alcoholic sparkling wine. Now I call it sparkling wine. Right, and last but not least, I can also garnish my drink with a little piece of fresh cilantro on the glass as well. So, there you have it, folks. So I say, let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on liat.com. My wife announces she'll liat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm, must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights, our travel insurance and a car. Well, sort of sensible. <laughs> Liat.com. What else do you need? Are you having a party or having a fete? There's an important name you shouldn't forget. Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Ice. A tropical paradise needs ice too. That's why we will take care of you. Private functions, events and more. Family picnics or chilling at home. It's Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Call 418-9706. And we'll be sure to deliver it. Island Ice. The best ice. Best ice. Best ice. Best ice. Fact number 25. Spiced rums can be white, golden, or dark rum. Typically aged for the same length of time as dark rum, they are infused with spices and fruit flavors and caramel colorings to give it a signature sweet spice taste. They are especially good for making rum punches. Defending champion Rohan Hackshaw scores 172.8 points. Cardinal Fields scores a total of 111.6 points. Rohan moves on to the semifinals and Cardinal is eliminated.
That's it for this week, but stay tuned for more action next week.